Hey y'all, it's me. I am Jocelyn Renee. If this is your first time ever viewing any one of my videos, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. So I just, I'm going to do an impromptu video um, about something that I have experienced. Um, I'm here, it's a Saturday, I'm here at the nursing home checking on um, a client of mine. I stay with her. We well, have a few of them. Anyways, I stay here mm, mostly 2 to 10 when I'm here. I'm here from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. And um, I just, I have a pet peeve and I need to talk about it. I need to talk about it. Because we need to do better. I'm drinking water. But I'm putting it in my favorite cup because it keeps my ice all day. I know it's, it's, it's chipping, but that's all right. The cup still works, honey. So, anyways, um, this is my pet peeve. Uh, you guys know I have a love for older people. Um, I like working with older people. Um, you know, that's what my business is geared towards, taking care of the elderly. And um, I've been a licensed, no, okay, certified nurse's assistant since 2002. I'm also a certified medication aide which I can give medication since 2004, right? Um, and I have seen a lot in my years, okay? So, my biggest pet peeve that I always find in a nursing home or within a family is these older people work all their lives, right? to provide for their family and I'm talking about their children and once they get older and they basically you know we're born as babies we go through life you know we grow up and everything and then when we get to a certain age in our adult lives we revert back to baby we really do I'm sorry we revert back to baby we become a little bit helpless and we need help we all gonna go through it. It's a circle of life. Anyway, so these grown ass kids act like their parents have not done anything for them their whole damn lives. And so they stick them in a nursing home and don't come see about them. Don't come see about them. Don't don't even send anybody to see about them. Like they just totally forget about them. And a lot of these older people, they, I feel, this is just my opinion, I feel that they die before their time because they are put into a nursing home to where they're isolated, basically, because they've been taken out of their familiar environment and nobody comes to see about them. So if they really don't latch on to a caregiver like myself or a nurse or even some physicians, <clears throat> have time for their patients or a physical therapist and they don't latch on to somebody that they feel like they can trust that they will see mostly every day they they get depressed and they go down and eventually they die it's the truth um so one particular family that i'm working with tonight and it is a japanese family and um from what I have noticed, most of like Japanese, uh, foreign people, um, Jewish people, they normally have a private duty nurse or somebody in the family. They're taking shifts, staying with whoever the person is. They take shifts. Um, I I think this family is a little more Americanized because that's not happening. And um, the daughter. I was talking to the nursing staff here at the building and the daughter came in um, this person was admitted like two weeks ago the daughter came in when the mom was being admitted but she hasn't been back the son um, has come by with his wife and kids but you know that modesty kicks in so he can't help um, do anything that requires for him to see his mother naked, which I get, you know, you, you, that's not a vision that you want to have of your mother as a boy. I get it. Um, 
But the daughter is the power of attorney. She has to say so about what happens as far as care for the mom. So there was an issue tonight. Now, let me remind you, she hasn't been here since she basically since she dropped the woman off two weeks ago. There was an incident tonight um, where the daughter had to be called. Um, the mom tried to go to the restroom on her own. It is raining really bad here in Houston. Have, can y'all see that? It's a break right now, so that's why I came outside to get some air. But it's been raining all day. All day. But they say that this rain is supposed to bring in some cooler weather. So hopefully that happens. Anyway, so um, they call the daughter. The car, the daughter kind of goes off on the nurse over the phone. So eventually she pops up uh, to see what's going on with the mom. The mom got up to go to the restroom and she fell. Okay, she didn't break anything, anything like that. But they have to report that the woman hit the flow. Okay? So I... Me, this is just my opinion. <laughs> the guilty person comes up here and acts a fucking fool. Okay, I'm just going to put it out there. The guilty person that doesn't come around, doesn't really have anything to do with their loved one, normally is the one that comes and acts a fucking fool. Um, in the process, the son came uh, just to do a regular visit with his mom. And, a you know, the nurse told him what happened and told him that his sister was called and la, la, da. And he said, I really wish y'all wouldn't have to deal with my sister. Um, she's really no help. And so, when she came up here and I saw the way that she acted with the nursing staff and she acted with her own brother, I was like, now I understand what he means about she's no help. So, my advice to you guys is if you ever get to the point in your life where you have to put your loved one in a nursing home or a rehabilitation center or um, any place that they're going to be for short-term care or even long-term care, go and check on your loved one. Let them know that you're still here, you're still thinking about them, and you still care about them. Don't wait for something to happen, and you go up there acting a fool, and the people are wondering, who are you? Because we never seen you. Your mother's been here damn near a month, and we haven't seen you, but you want to come up here and raise hell where have you been okay i i i dread the day and that's why i'm working so hard to try and get my business off the ground because i really want to buy a house turn it into a facility for older people to where um i can have maybe like four to five people in the house and they can have more of a one-on-one -on -one care than having uh, CNA having to, to deal with 13 residents and these residents might be bed bound wheelchair bound so you know somebody's not getting the proper care that they need and it's not because of the aid it's just it's too much it's not enough time um but that's that's my goal because I dread the day that I have to put my mom or my dad into a nursing home Granted, my grandmother was like in her 70s when she passed away. She did not ever go to a nursing home. My mom, her sisters, my grandfather took care of my grandmother to her last day. Okay? Everybody pitched in and took care of grandma in her own home. So when she, my grandmother passed away, she was at home in her bed where she was supposed to be when she passed. Um... The family chipped in. Everybody took turns going over there, combing her hair, giving her a bath. I mean, everything that that woman had did for all of us, we all took turns. So, um, I don't want to have to put my mom or my dad in a nursing home. Now, push come to serve, push come to shove, and we have to. Yeah, we're gonna be on rotations. Me and my brothers, they might not like my black ass. <laughs> But they gonna be on rotation with me, um, because it's gonna go down. Cause somebody gonna have to be with him, Riella, and somebody gonna have to be with Truman. Especially my daddy, he's feisty now at sixty nine. I know when he, as he gets older, he's gonna get feistier. So yeah, somebody's gonna have to be with Truman, and somebody's gonna have to be with him, Riella. 
It is what it is. I mean, even if we have to get to a point to where we have to hire somebody and everybody pay out their pocket to um, keep this person, you know, taking care of our parents, or somebody going to have to quit their job and the other children going to have to support the one that had to quit their job to take care of my, you know, we're going to work something out because I just don't foresee them two going to the nursing home. I just don't. And it's because I have worked in a nursing home for, what, 16, almost 18 years? Off and on, I wouldn't send my dog to a nursing home. I'm just saying. There are some good ones out there, and there are some good people that work in the medical field. But I'm not going to lie. Those people are few and far between. So, <laughs> if you ever have to put your loved one in a nursing home, a rehabilitation center, a um, dementia care center, whatever, check on your people. Just don't dump them and leave them. Those are my thoughts. I had to get that off my chest. And that's why I had to come and take a break in my truck. Because the daughter is still here. And the way that my attitude is set up. I been mean, told her how she really felt. And she, didn't, she don't even know how she really feels. But she'll find out tonight how she really feels. Because I'm, I'm going to let her know. So that's why I had to excuse myself. And come and take a break. Come and talk to you guys about my problems. So by the time I get back into uh, this building and into this room with her, uh, I, I'll be a little better. I'm not going to say I'm going to be 100%, but I'll be a little better. I can deal with her a little more. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully while I'm out here in this truck taking a break, uh, she goes home. Hopefully she goes home. Hopefully she goes home. Oh, that's good and cold. And that is good and cold. But hope I'm just praying that I see her walk out this building and go home. Cause I'm trying to be nice. And when she starts talking about Jackie, Jackie, what happened? Um, your mother wanted to get up and go to the bathroom, and she was instructed not to. But by law. I cannot force her. I cannot touch her and restrain her in any type of way. Um, so the best medicine from the state of Texas, <laughs> from the state of Texas, and this is going to sound horrible too. This is why I'm saying you people need to go and check on your loved ones in these places. Um, state of Texas don't want you to restrain them or touch them in any type of way of that it might be forced. So the best thing <clears throat> for them to do is hit the flow. And hopefully that will get them not to do it again. Because I, like I said, we revert back to baby stages once we get older and kind of helpless. And so um, all I can do is instruct her not to. I can try to persuade her as much as I can. But after so much persuading, it ain't happening. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But um, fall is approaching, and I actually put on some makeup today. I really feel like a person because <laughs> I haven't been wearing makeup. Um, it's been it was hot in Houston. Summer in Houston is baby. I ain't no joke. It is not a joke. So, I hadn't really been wearing makeup. That's why you guys haven't been getting makeup baskets from me. But, um, I'm going to do better. Fall is coming. I have a, this is a fall look that I did today. You really can't see it right now. But I did record it. So, look for the video. It's going to be the first fall inspired, um, makeup look. That I did with my Blaze palette. Oh, okay. Let me tell you. Today, I went to Ulta. And ColourPop had a new palette out called, called, um, Fortune, Fortune Press Powder or something. It's a new palette by ColourPop. So I, I went into Ulta and y'all know I did the store to door and, um, I had $17.50 worth. Well, I had more points than that, but I was able to use $17.50 
towards my purchase. Also, I use my $3.50 coupon towards the palette as well. So, it was originally $22. Um, using the three seventy five, the using the three dollars and fifty cent coupon, it knocked it down to eighteen fifty. I used seventeen dollars and fifty cent of my points, so I had to come out of pocket a dollar and eight cents. You can't beat that with a damn stick, okay? And also for a brand new palette that just came out, maybe beginning of the month or whatever. So. Yeah, as soon as that is shipped to my house, I will be doing some looks with that one, too. And, um, because it's really a fall-inspired type palette. And so, what else? What else did I do today before I came to deal with these crazy people? And I'm not even talking about the residents, the older people. I'm talking about their stupid family. <sighs> um, and I have had some really good nurses today. So, that, that makes it really good, too. Um... What else? Okay, today is Saturday. Y'all probably will be seeing this on Sunday. But today is Saturday. Yesterday, Friday, I went to... After work, I went to um, the gun range to shoot some guns. I shot a 32 and a 38. I shot a 22 and a 38. And um, with a friend of mine. And it was the best stress relief ever you know i talked i told you guys that i was thinking about changing careers and stuff like that and so the person that i went to shoot guns with um i trust his opinion you know and i was talking to him about it and he was like well jay i really think that you should do logistics um if you just want to do um welding you know, you could do that, but I really think that you'll be better in logistics because you're very organized, and um, you said you're very organized, and you keep up with data and stuff like that, so I think logistics will be better, but um, I still have until January to make a decision, but I have been revising my application because I, I am going to be doing something different maybe even before the beginning of the year um but i did that i went and went to a gun range and kind of got some stress off of me that was fun and it was raining it's been raining all week here all week off and on it's been raining next week is supposed to be the same thing more rain um what else that's it. That's all I did. Um, tomorrow, I will be back here at the nursing home on Sunday. I'll be back here at the nursing home. Um, Monday starts a new work week. So, I'll be back at my correctional job for the state. And um, that'll be my weekend, basically. My weekends are kind of boring. That's why I don't really vlog my weekends. Because I don't too much do anything at all. I'm trying to get my life back. But, um, I'm not gonna lie, you have to have extra money. You know, besides, you know, outside of your bill money. <laughs> you gotta have extra money to have life. Um, especially here in Houston. It, it takes a little, I mean, you only need a whole bunch of cash, but it takes a little cash to get done what you want to get done. Um, but that's it. That's my weekend, y'all. That is my rant as well about people putting their loved ones in nursing homes and basically leaving them. So we must do better with that. And um, I thank you guys for watching this rant. I am losing daylight, so I'm going to get ready to let you guys go. And um, thank you for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. I love my comment section. I do reply to everyone's comment. So leave me a comment down below. Tell me how you feel about the nursing home. Had you Have you had to put your loved one in a nursing home? Did you go and check on your loved one? How do you think that they... Um, how do you think that they do with depression and being lonely and stuff like that in a nursing home? Um, and I will respond to your comments. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video and hopefully it won't be a rant. Bye guys.